for years. You've been avoiding Earth. But I have called for your help plenty of other times, and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Yeah, well, this is different. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about him? Fury, we got to be very careful now. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us. the beginning this is my war alone and i'm the last person standing between them and what they really want and what is that What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. So we just got a trailer for Secret Invasion, and this is one of the Disney Plus shows that I've been looking forward to for like the longest. Like the Secret Invasion storyline has always been my favorite storyline from Marvel. If you don't know much about that storyline, I'll just give you a little rundown of what that's all about. So in the past couple movies and series that you've seen with Disney Plus, you've seen the scrolls and you've seen it in Ms. Mar not Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel. And you did see it in WandaVision because at the end, one of them met Monica Rambeau in a movie theater. And I think one was, I think two of them was in Spider-Man. I can't remember, but scrolls, they're here. Well, the story goes like this. A bunch of scrolls come down to planet Earth and they infiltrate. They disguise themselves as humans. As you can see, they can shapeshift and they pretty much infiltrate humanity pretty much they disguise themselves as very powerful people and they infiltrate these very powerful you know corporations businesses uh the government uh shield all that stuff so they take the people they kidnap the people or they kill the people and that's what they do and nick fury is here to stop them so that's pretty much what it is the best way i can put it on disney plus there's a cartoon by the name of avengers earth's mightiest heroes they actually did this storyline and they did it really, in my my humble opinion, they did it really good. Like really, really good. Like it was amazing how they did it. And I suggest you take time out your day to go watch it before you watch Secret Invasions because it'll give you somewhat logist of the story. But since they're not taking the route where the Avengers actually face up against, well, they might, I don't know. But Don Cheadle's in this. So when I seen Don Cheadle in this, I'm like, hold on. Are we still getting armor wars? Are they? Are we still getting that? I've heard down the grapevine that somebody said that Iron Heart is supposed to be armor wars. It's just her, Don Cheadle, and everybody else. I'm like, mm, I'm not. Mm, maybe, okay, maybe. But Don Cheadle, I like the beginning of the trailer where Maria Hill was like, "Hey, we've been calling you, bro. Like, you just keep ignoring us." And he's like, "Well, this is different, okay." All right, this is something totally different. And I'm like, maybe he just wanted to be away from all that. And another thing that got me too was he didn't have his eye patch on. He didn't have his eye patch on until the end of the trailer. So I'm just like, oh shit, I really gotta watch this now. Cause I'm like, uh, where's his eye patch at? But at the end of the day, this is gonna be something good. I, I really, like I said, I really do like the in secret invasion storyline. I get the secret invasion mixed up with secret wars a lot so because they both got secret in it but i still am gonna enjoy this so what do you guys think about the trailer and also also this is for all those marvel fans who keep crying and complaining and bitching and moaning about how woke and blase blase marvel is right now this is something serious this is something that you know those guys and those fans been crying about well here you go this is something that probably should be up your alley because this seems very serious and i'm looking forward to it i mean honestly to be honest with you phase four was uh, it was a hit. It was. It had its moments. Like, go down the line. Moon Knight. I liked it. 
uh, WandaVision. I really did like WandaVision. Started off slow, but I did like that. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, that was that, that was a miss for me. I don't know why. I just couldn't really get with it, I guess. Loki? Nah. I couldn't get with Loki. And even though, yes, he, they showed us who the big bad is for the next couple phases, still wasn't feeling Loki. Um, Moon Knight? Yes. Only reason why I liked Moon Knight is because of his costume. And I just really, I actually did get into that. I wish it was a little bit longer, though, but yeah, I did like that. Uh, Miss Marvel, that, that just wasn't for me. It was, you you could tell that was geared towards kids. You could tell that was a kid's show right there. Like, I've seen so many people, like, review bomb, and I'm like, unless you are not a teenage girl or just a teenager at all or a child, I don't see why you're really watching this. Then we got She-Hulk. Now, even though, yes, She-Hulk has her moments. Yes, the CGI can be a little bit bad. A little bit bad. I, did, I, I still do like it. It's cringy. It's funny. All that stuff that people be talking about. Some, it's jokes. It's this, 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 this. That's, that's the point. That's the whole point. People are missing the point of She-Hulk. The shit is funny because it's just so corny. It's so cringy. It's all that. I'm just like, I'm here for it because it's hilarious to me. I'm like, man, that was so bad, but it was so funny at the same time. And I know, I know. But I feel like some people just take themselves way too serious when it comes down to watching TV, but whatever. I've seen people talking about some insulting our intelligence and all that stuff. Well, you, they can't insult your intelligence if you let them. So if you're sitting there watching it, you, you must not care about your intelligence. So that that's just me. But then we got Wakanda Forever is closing out Phase 4. So Phase 4, I wouldn't say is the greatest, but I think this is like right after they finished beating Thanos. So it's like them recovering from all that. I think they're about to get back to being serious, though, because once Wakanda Forever is done, that's when they're going to hit the road with, hey, we're about to get real fucking serious because Secret Invasion looks serious. Quantumania, from what I've been hearing, sounds really serious. And so on and so forth. So I, I just say be patient. They, I'm pretty sure they're building up some stuff right now. Y'all might not like the content they're putting now, and that's that's fine. You know, different strokes with different folks. But I, I'm being patient. I ain't really gonna sit up and say something's garbage and trash. Not just yet, because I I I do see where they're going with everything. Now, what do I think Secret Invasion is gonna lead up to? That's a good question because if Secret because Secret Invasion le leads up to some real serious stuff in the marvel universe like it has a lot of heroes they start developing trust issues and i mean why not you got a green alien posing as your best friend trying to get information out of you so they can help take over the world like you're gonna have some trust issues but i don't think anything from secret invasion is gonna lead into like what's going on with kang and dr doom actually i take that back because in secret in secret invasion in the marvel's avengers earth's mightiest heroes Doom actually does help out during that storyline because he helps Tony Stark get the technology. He, he gives technology to Tony Stark to help him like pretty much undisguise the scrolls as per se. So he could be in the secret invasion, you know, because he might help out Nick Fury and be like, hey, I got some technology that can help you take down the scrolls. Hopefully they take a little bit of that from the Avengers cartoon, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys have taken care of yourself. More D23 stuff coming out. I got a video about the Black Panther Captain America game that's coming out. And like what? I don't know how long. They just announced it, but they didn't really give us a name, release date, or release year. So we don't know how long that game's going to be. But other than that, guys, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Peace. I honestly want to hear Samuel Jackson say, there's too many motherfucking scrolls on this motherfucking planet. I highly doubt they'll let him say it, but I mean... It's a scratch, though. I mean, Samuel Jackson, come on now.